features these two stamp sets, Snow is Glistening and Happiness Surrounds. You can see this one is all snow and winter themed. And this one is really a nice floral, any time of year stamp set. And the sentiments in this one are just gorgeous. Um, we are going to be working with this one today. But the most amazing part, besides the fact that there's two stamp sets, is that there's all of these thinlets. Look how many are in there. So as this video is released, it is not yet available to the general public. So if you do want early access to this, consider joining my team if you live within Canada. Uh, if you do not live within Canada, just go to stampinup.com and do find a demonstrator and put in your address and the nearest demonstrators will pop up. But if you do live within Canada, you are absolutely welcome to join my team. There is a sign up link on my website. Uh, I am trying to do every blog post now has the join now offer. So um, we are going to use the snowflakes today. And I have a piece of watercolor paper here. We are going to use brusho but we are not going to use the crystals on it dry and spritz or wet and then put the powder on. We are going to make a little pool of it on the side of our work surface here. I'm just going to spritz a little bit. I'm just working on a piece of wax paper here. And I want a very light blue. I'm going to grab an aqua painter. And that's still a little bit darker than I'm hoping for, so I can add some water to that. And I am just going to do a wash on my paper. So that should be enough. I am going to squeeze some water as I go here. I don't want the whole thing covered. And then just add some brush -o. There was a watercolor background stamp in the catalog, but it retired. And it would achieve this kind of look, but as you can see, this really took very little effort. And if you do want those kind of little streaks, then just put a little bit of brusho on the edge here. And voila! Now the other thing we could have done was do an embossed resist where we use our Versamark and clear embossing powder and emboss before we did this wash, but hindsight. So just add little bits here and there and we are going to Hit this with our heat tool just to set it a little quicker because I don't have any patience. Just grabbing some shimmer paint before we set this. I would like to add some shimmer paint. So I have frost white and rubbing alcohol in here. And I found the last time I used this that it sprayed a little too. Um, it was it was too blunt. I wanted more of a spritz, and it see <laughs> was not doing that. But isn't that a neat effect? Let's see how that goes. I haven't tried that before. So I'm gonna set that with my heat tool. Starting off on low so that we don't blow all of this stuff right off the page. The rubbing alcohol dries very quickly. So you can see I don't really need my heat tool here. As it dries, the paper will begin to lie flat.
it starts to come up the other way, oh, pardon my reach, it is, it can be a little frustrating, so we're just gonna hit it from the back side. I wanna lighten these little bits that had the cooling water there. usually talk when I have my heat tool going because that will be the part of the video where I speed it up so you don't have to hear it or watch it but there were some valuable tips in there okay that's it for our background so we'll take that out lately I've just been working on a little scrap of paper this is uh, my upcoming classes but I realized after I printed it there was something else I wanted to add and I don't recall what it was now oh I changed this from three fun cards to projects so if you live in the area and don't yet have a demonstrator or need a catalog message me and I will send you a catalog and one of these sheets will be in there to show you my upcoming classes I do have a class each and every Saturday so uh, a couple of them might be changed to different days. This one is because I have a craft sale the following day. And actually, that doesn't look like the right date. But that could be another thing that I had in there that I changed it for. So, anyways. Um, I had thought about doing the stamps. But I think we're actually going to do the die cuts. Because they are just so beautiful. It is unbelievable how beautiful these snowflake die cuts are. They are so delicate and detailed. It, I think I only have scraps left of my dazzling diamond, so we'll see if we can get anything out of there. That has a whole bunch of hearts cut out of it. There's a snowflake from something else. We definitely have enough silver, so we'll keep that out. There's a good scrap. I never throw scraps of glimmer paper out. Like even this heart, which was, I used the other part of it. Keep it, because if you don't use the heart, and this heart is a very wonky shape, uh, you can use the inside for little bits and pieces. So you can see glimmer paper is going to be going on my next order. <laughs> I've started a new little system based on something I heard from a fellow demonstrator and I wish I knew who it was because I'd give them some credit, but I do not. Um, but what they do is they keep a little container in their workspace and just add a little scrap of the colors of cardstock that they're running out on. And then when they go to place an order and in the, the heat of the moment, forget what it is they're looking for, they just go to these and they throw them in this little bowl and I need some basic gray, I need some very vanilla, mango melody and lemon lime twist. There's a few more that I need actually because I've got a stamp -a stack coming. But great idea, just cut a little, well you probably already have scraps anyways, but set them aside so that you know what it is you need to get. I thought that was a fantastic tip and I wanted to share it with you. So we are not going to have enough with the glimmer paper to do that giant one. There are some beautiful sentiments in here. So sending a blizzard of wishes for a wonderful season. Each snowflake is beautiful, sparkling, and special, just like you. Joy. Merry Christmas to you and peace on earth to all the world and for you. And then in this one, it, like I said before, it's less seasonal and more uh, all year round. So um, not really much in there that I want to use, but let's do May Your Christmas Sparkle with Joy and Happiness. 
I am trying to build up my sentiment stamp sets. When I first started, it was all about the images, and now it's, uh, it's, it's great to have those images, but you need to have something to say. <laughs> so we'll probably put that down there. So let's grab a block. I'm just gonna take all of these off. And actually, I think I might do it like that. So we will use some white. First a mark. Could use silver too, but I'm going with kind of a dazzling diamonds theme here. Use our embossing buddy. Just gonna turn on my heat tool here. I just realized I hadn't turned on this light. I'm kind of sitting there in the dark. Now, I have embossed this with white, but it's not really standing out too much, so I'm gonna grab a little bit of our wash. Add just a little bit more brush out to it and get ourselves a little dark spot going so that we can read that. And add it in maybe a couple other spots just so it's not so random. If you find that it's too streaky, just add some more water. Because remember when we did this initially, we did have some water down before we started painting. Like we did the first time, I'm going to add some more alcohol shimmer spray. I want that same effect that we had before, and I also would like some more sparkle. Now, especially because we have this sparkle on here. I'm just going to zoom you in a little more so you can see. Set that aside for a moment. on some balmy blue so I think that's what we're gonna do we could do it on whisper white but I think balmy blue might be the way to go watercolor paper is not a true white so I find that I tend to put them on colored cardstock instead of whisper white You could definitely put some other kind of embellishment or ribbon, but I want the snowflakes to be the star of the show here. Just saw I had a little rough piece from where I had cut it. Now you can see that this is all bowed. What I do with all of my watercolor brush pieces is set them under a pile of books, typically overnight. So right now I have a pile of holiday and annual catalogs that I have to give out, so that is the perfect weight. Otherwise, this will kind of pull the cardstock and it will never lie flat or stand straight. So that is my tip. The other thing you could do is put it through your Big Shot. But there we go, my friends. It took a few minutes, but it's beautiful, isn't it? You can see that shimmer. So the supplies that I use will be listed below. Uh, if you are new here and do not yet subscribe, I would invite you to do so. I have a new video each and every week. And I thank you for stopping by. If you are in Canada and want to buy any of those supplies, just click on the links below. And if you'd like to join my team, just head on over to stampedaf.ca and there's a few different spots that you can find it. They'll be in the sidebar. It's in all of my blog posts going forward. Um, so thank you friends. Bye.